Hey guys, welcome back to another Razer Synapse 3 Chroma Profile tutorial. For this design, I made a unicorn design and this is not to be confused with my April Chroma Profile of the Month submission, which was named Unicorn Skin. This design actually takes the shape of a unicorn with the horn and some rainbow hair. For this design, I also made a caps lock indicator as well as an audio meter that will change the effects of your unicorn's hair. As always in my videos, there will be a download link in the description where you can go and download this profile and have it on your keyboards. But if you wanna learn more about Razer Synapse 3 Studio and you wanna learn how to make some lighting designs for yourself, I encourage you to follow along with the video and watch exactly how I make it. We're gonna get right into this design. Let's go. All right, guys, so to begin this design, we're going to click on these three dots in the top middle right here, and we're going to click add. So with this brand new design, it's going to automatically show spectrum cycling on there. We're just going to add a brand new static layer, and we're going to click on the spectrum cycling layer, and we're going to hit this trash can to delete that. So starting with the static layer, we are going to select out the shape of our unicorn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and I'm just going to scroll wheel in a couple times to get right on my keyboard, just like this. And I'm going to select out the shape of my unicorn now. So I'm going to hold control and I'm going to just start selecting out some keys here. So these are the keys that I'm going to use right here for the shape of my unicorn. And you can go to this color chart and you can either drag to the white section or you can just click in the hex code and type in six F's and that's going to give you a pure white value. So now that we have white here, I'm gonna hit save. I'm actually gonna click on this I key here and hit the delete key and that's going to take that white effect, effect away. And I'm gonna hit save. So now this is going to be my unicorn right here and I'm going to go on to my next effect layer. So I'm gonna click on this wave here and add a brand new wave layer. So with this wave layer, we are going to make a lot of different things. We're going to make the wind effect. We are going to make a horn. We are going to make the unicorn's hair. So beginning with the horn, I'm going to hold control and just select a few keys here that is going to represent uh, my unicorn horn. I'm gonna go with these keys right here. And now I'm just gonna click on this color drop down right here on the right side, and I'm gonna choose a three tone gradient right here. So you can see there's three nodes, one, two, three. And I'm going to choose a yellow on the left and a yellow on the right. And in the middle, I'm going to choose yellow as well, but I'm gonna drag it down here just like that. So now you get kind of a wave effect going on the horn. And I'm gonna click off of that color selection there and it's gonna to go to my details. I'm going to split my wave. And I like to do this with a lot of my effects because it takes away that linear wave effect. It's not just going one direction, it's now going multiple directions. So that looks good to me right there. I'm going to hit save. That is going to be my unicorn horn. Now we're going to work on the unicorn's hair. What we're gonna do is we're going to make sure we deselect our horn here. So just select off of your keys and we're gonna hold control and we're gonna pretty much select the whole right side of our keyboard. And I'm actually going to select these keys right here over this white light. You don't even have to do this on the static layer. You don't have to put the white in there. For this, I'm gonna click on my color drop down here, click on rainbow and I'm not gonna to touch any colors here. I'm gonna leave, leave it exactly how it is. And I'm going to change my angle down at about 150 degrees, somewhere in that ballpark, just like this. So this looks pretty good right here. You could, pretty, you could call this done as a profile, but we're gonna take this much, much further and add lots of depth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create that wind effect. And to do this, we are going to hold control and we are going to select these black keys on the left side here that are not being used. All these keys that are black that don't have an effect on them. And we're gonna click on this color drop down, and we're going to choose a five tone wave pattern. So you got five nodes here, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to choose um, 
I'm gonna keep my left, middle, and right nodes as black, just as they are. But the second and fourth nodes here, I'm actually going to make a gray color. So I'm going to make it white initially, and I'm gonna drag it dark into this gray color area, just like this. So I like this color right here. I'm gonna double click on this hex code. And I'm gonna click on this green node here. And I'm actually gonna paste that same exact color into this hex code spot, just like that. I'm going to just close in these gray nodes with the black a little bit and it just makes the gray a little bit sharper and I'm actually going to add another node as well. I'm going to click on this gray black node right here and hit this addition sign. It'll copy that node and give me another one here to pinch in this other gray node on this side. I like all the details for the wind right there. I'm going to keep it just as is, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to change each line. So I'm going to click and deselect all of those keys and now I'm going to hold control and I'm going to go back and select line by line. So this top row, I'm going to keep my color effect, but I'm going to make small changes in here. Um, I'm, we can click on our color drop down and we can just move our nodes over to the left just to make it a slight bit different. So we'll just move our nodes over a little bit. which is going to make it different from the uh, the rows below it. So that looks good. And I'm actually gonna reduce the speed down a little bit just to add some variety there. That looks good, I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna skip my next row just cause I'll keep the default that was on there. And I'm going to select this row here. And same thing, we can move the nodes to the right, you know, just kind of change it up and make it however you want. We can make our width percentage 75% and we can change our speed down to like 10, hit save. So now you can see with these top three lines here, there's lots of variety. It's not just coming at you in just a, a line. So we're gonna do the same thing with these bottom three rows. So now that I've finished up the last three rows, you can see there's some wind effect going on in front of the unicorn. Next, what I'm gonna do is add a blinking effect for the unicorn's eyeball. So I'm gonna click on this eye key and I'm gonna click on the color drop down here and I'm gonna choose this five node pattern here. Same thing with the center node here. I'm going to click the addition sign to add an, another black node. I'm going to do the same thing I did previously and just kind of pinch the nodes in here. And these colored nodes in the center, I'm going to make them white. So we can do that with our hex code of six Fs. We'll make those white. And we're also going to slow this down quite a bit. We'll slow this down to about a speed of five. So now you can see you got some wind effect going on and every little while your unicorn will actually blink. Okay, that's all we're gonna do for this effect layer. For the next layer, we are going to add another wave layer. With this layer, we're going to add the effect of the unicorn's hair kind of going with the wind and flapping in the, in the wind. With this new wave layer, we are going to hold control and we're going to select these lower keys right here. I'm gonna select these ones right here and I'm gonna click on this color drop down here. And for this, I'm just going to choose a two color pattern here. And I'm going to drag these to the middle like this. Just like that and I'm going to make my left node here invisible and my right node I'm going to make white. That looks good, I'm gonna click off of my color selection and I'm going to change my width percentage to 200. And that looks good right there. I'm just going to select all of these keys by double clicking and I'm gonna copy that and I'm actually going to paste that onto these additional keys right here as well and control V to paste that.
So now you can see it adds a little bit more motion to your unicorn by the having the hair come up and reveal a little of the unicorn's back. And we're gonna do the same thing on the top corner here and kind of make some hair disappear as if it's flapping in the wind. So with this top corner, we are going to select some keys here, just like this. And we are going to actually paste in that same effect with the white up here. So with this white effect pasted in here, we're going to click on our color dropdown and we're gonna change the white node to invisible and we're going to change the left node to black. And you do that by adding six zeros as a hex code or you can just drag your, your color gradient to white and then drag your brightness all the way down. So now you can kind of see that you've added a little more animation and a wave-like effect to your unicorn's hair. The next effect that we're gonna do for this keyboard lighting design is we're going to add a reactive effect. We're just gonna select all of our keys here and we're gonna click random on our color choice. With random color reactive, you can press a key and it will pick a random color for your reactive. So it makes it look very rainbow effecty whenever you touch a bunch of keys. Now the next layer is going to be our audio meter layer and that's a little bit tricky. It's probably the trickiest effect layer. So we're going to click on audio meter to add that new layer. And before I go any farther, I'm gonna go back to my very first wave right above static, and I'm gonna click on my Razer logo. A lot of keyboards don't have the Razer logo. If you don't have it, just go ahead and skip this part. But I'm going to add a rainbow wave to this. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just picking a rainbow wave to have on that key. And then I'm gonna go back into audio meter. And I did this on purpose because it adds kind of a cool effect with the audio meter. If you select this key, on our audio meter layer, we are going to click on our color drop down, and we're gonna choose a two-tone gradient right here. And on the left side, we are going to keep this black, but on the right side, we're going to make that invisible. We can choose auto if you want, and I'm going to hit save. And what this does by having this kind of fade effect from black to clear, is it's a very dim wave effect at low audio levels and at higher audio levels, it's brighter. So it just kind of gives you a brightness effect. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, just don't do that part. To add on to the audio meter layer, we are going to select all of these keys where the hair shows up, just like this. So for this color drop down the left node here is going to be black so six zeros as a hex code and the right node is going to be clear your clear node here or invisible and we're just going to slowly taper this down so you kind of have a beat effect so i'm going to hit auto just to make it a little bit better and hit save and we're going to taper this down now, so we're gonna hold control and we're gonna deselect off uh, some of our keys here, just like this. And we're gonna click on our color gradient and we're just gonna slide our gradient down a little bit. And hold, do the same thing, hold control, deselect a few keys. Click your color drop down, slide your gradient bar. Hold control, deselect off some, some more keys here. Click your color gradient and just slide it, keep sliding it down. And you're just gonna do this until you get all the way down towards the end of your design. Hold control, deselect some off here. Okay, so now for my last layer, I'm going to hold control and I'm going to deselect off a few of these keys. And this is going to be my base layer here. So with this one, I'm just going to 
drag this black all the way down to the left, all the way off. I'm actually going to remove the black and it's just going to be clear. I'm gonna actually add a clear node and drag that all the way to the right. So this whole entire gradient bar is just a clear bar and hit save. So now when I go to play audio, you should see that this Razer logo gets brighter with higher cues and the rainbow hair actually gets bigger with higher audio cues. Before I go and play the audio, I'm going to do the caps lock indicator really fast for you guys. So go ahead and add a new wave layer. And with this new wave layer, we're going to select our caps lock key and we're going to click the color drop down here and we're gonna choose a rainbow wave pattern. This is what I'm gonna use for my caps lock indicator. And I'm gonna click off the color selector there and everything here looks good for me. I'm going to come down to playback and this is what you have to do to make it a caps lock indicator. Under start, click on random and we wanna change it from random to on selected keys. So this wave is going to start when you press this selected key that you have selected. And same thing with end, we're going to click on after and we're going to change it from after to on selected keys. So this wave layer will start when you press the key and it will end when you press the key again, just like this and hit save. So now we have a caps lock indicator by pressing caps, you activate a rainbow wave and caps again, it'll take your rainbow wave off. And now I'm gonna go ahead and play some audio so that you guys can see what this effect looks like. so much for watching this video if you like the video please hit that thumbs up button as well as the subscribe if you haven't already and the bell icon that way you guys don't miss out on future razor keyboard lighting designs if you have a cool idea for a design you'd like to see on a keyboard then please leave a comment in the comment section below and you can also reach me on my social media accounts twitter instagram and i even stream on twitch every once in a while so stop by and say hi but that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.